The Supreme Court has narrowly ruled that some companies that object to the contraceptive requirement of the new health care law will be exempt from it. The first time the court has ruled that for-profit corporations can basically hold uh, religious views. The court says corporations like Oklahoma-based arts and craft chain store Hobby Lobby, which are controlled by just a few people, don't have to provide the coverage if it violates the religious beliefs of the owners. Outside the court, immediate reactions. This isn't over. We're still fighting. Today we applaud the Supreme Court for upholding our basic religious freedoms and rights. The ruling means the Obama administration must search for a different way of providing free contraception to some working women. President Obama believes that women should make personal health care decisions for themselves rather than their bosses deciding for them. Today's decision jeopardizes the health of women who are employed by these companies. Women's advocacy groups also condemned today's ruling. What we have today is five male justices ruling that essentially discrimination against female workers is not discrimination at all. They claim it's a narrow ruling. That makes it even more disturbing because what they're saying is they're protecting other people's rights but not women from having our bosses reach into our bedroom. Evangelical Christians, the Green family employs more than 15,000 full-time workers in their 600 Hobby Lobby stores and some of their Texas shoppers welcomed the court's ruling. I support them 150 percent. They're a Christian organization uh, ran by Christians and I totally agree with their uh, philosophy. It's just very important that Christians take a stand these days. It is unclear how many women potentially are affected by the High Court ruling. Tracy Brown, Associated Press.